Tonight, Michigan Tech falling to the sixth-ranked Bulldogs. And, Coach, I know that was a kind of a tough one here tonight. Uh, things kind of didn't go well right from the beginning with that five-minute major. Well, I, I think that put us on our heels right away. And we just never could quite get going from that point on. And uh, you know, it's a tough call, but, you know, you got to keep your elbows down. you got to keep your stick down. And, and that put us on the heels. But but right from the get-go, I, I thought we were we were a step uh, behind them all night. You know, just the quickness, just the, the puck handling. Um, you know, we just were not sharp. And I'll, I'll take the blame for that. I mean, it's my job to get this team ready to play. And from what I saw, we just weren't mentally into the game. Part of it's physical, but a lot of it's mental. And I just I just thought from the get-go, we just looked uh, discombobulated. And, and, you know, part of it's them. They're a good hockey team. You know, they're at home. Uh, they just seem to have that little extra edge tonight. And we, and we did not play well defensively. You're not going to win many games uh, when you give up six goals on the road. It looked like some of our veteran defensemen just didn't struggled. Didn't, yeah, they didn't. didn't and I'm being kind. Yeah. I, I'm being kind. Struggled. Um, you, you know, there's, there's a lot going on with them, you know. it's it's. But every year's a new year. We, we talked about that, that what we did last year and, and, and everything is, is in the past. And you have to start over every year. It doesn't matter how. If you could have your whole team back, it, it's still going to be different. And I just thought we just did not play with any desperation that you need on the road, uh, with any commitment to defense. We, it, we just... It looked like we thought it was just going to be easy. Like we're just going to roll into like we did last year and, and somebody else was going to get me the puck. Uh, I'm, I'm going to play on offense and, and we have to change that mindset. But like I told the team, you know, you, your first game, you find out where you are. And we found out where we are. And, and we've got a lot of work to do. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get better. But, uh, you know, tonight was just one of those nights where uh, every facet of the game, you know, you, you, I was just thinking about what we're going to show our team. Mm -hmm. And when you look at it, I mean, there's just so many things that we, you know, we're looking for the positives to take out of it. There are not many and just so many things we have to get better at. But I'm a little disappointed because we have a veteran-laden team and they should understand some of the things. But uh, having said that, you know, it's one game, and, and we've got a long year and a lot of games to play, so we have to continue to learn from our performance tonight and get better. It did seem when we got some power play time that we did settle into their zone and get some good puck movement around there and some good looks on the net. Well, we did some good things. I mean, there's, there's no question. We had uh, a handful of, of good scoring opportunities. Not a lot, but, um, you know, that's something that we're going to have to continue to work on. And, you know, their first goal is just a point shot and it finds its way in the net, you know. And we couldn't buy one. And, you know, it just their their goals went in so too easy tonight. And, and we just really struggled to get chances. Winches gave up four goals. Certainly not all his fault no. on those four no. goals. Uh, Ta uh, Devin gave up a couple of two. What are your thoughts on the goaltending in the first the young, inexperienced netminders? Well, it's hard. You know, they haven't played games for for a long time you know you could talk about their kid and, and at least he played hockey last year you know he's playing junior hockey and he was playing in games and he's played a lot of games the last five years in junior hockey so he's been playing where Matt has not played much last really two three years Devin has not played a lot and to throw them in there it's going to take them some time just the game speed and get cut off you can do whatever you want in practice but uh, getting in games is so important but uh, they'll, they'll continue to get better like uh, you know People have to be patient with this team and patient with our, our, our start and, and where we're going, and we'll continue to get better. We're, we're, we have too many good people in that locker room and too many good players to, to continue to play like this or to play like this again. I, I think this is the worst performance I've seen in a long, long time. Tomorrow, it's an earlier game. We have uh, players at, at your disposal. Coach, yeah. your, your thoughts on who might be in the lineup tomorrow? Well, well, we'll see. We're a little desperate now. I mean, we, we got to bounce back and, and find a way to win that game tomorrow. And that's the beauty of playing two games. You, you get another chance, and we had to get a chance early. So uh, we'll, we'll look at the tape tonight. We'll see how everybody is. I know Cliff Watson cramped up there. He didn't play, uh, you know, quite a few shifts in the third period. Uh, we'll see if we have any other, you know, guys who banged up. But we do have some bodies here, you know, and, and most of them are the freshmen. So uh, maybe we'll throw them in. They're hungry, and they're going to play harder. They're inexperienced. But and, and we're playing a pretty good hockey team, too, tonight. You know, we I have to give them credit. They, they came out and, uh, you know, played a pretty good game. And, and like I said, they finished their chances, and they got good goaltending. Smith, I thought, actually made some pretty nice plays out there, and he was strong on the puck at times, uh, you know, for yeah, his first Yeah, I thought game. the freshman, I thought both Alex and Tom Bretta mm -hmm. were a couple of positive spots in our lineup tonight, you know, the, the two young guys we played. but um, And I was worried about playing a guy like Mitch Renke in this game. I want him to watch, and 
uh, he, he got his eyes open, but he'll be in the lineup tomorrow. So we'll make some changes, and, you know, I, I will have to talk about the goaltending. We don't know where we're headed there. Maybe we throw in Angus just to see, uh, you know, what he can do in, a, in an atmosphere like this. But, uh, like I said, we'll, we'll continue to improve, and we'll get better, and this is just a starting point. We found out where we were. Okay, Coach, thanks for your time. Good luck tomorrow afternoon. Okay, thanks, Dirk. Coach Mel Pearson with our Coach's Corner, brought to you by Aspirus Key. We're down 6-0 in the final here tonight in favor of the home team, Duluth Bulldogs. Back with more after this.